It's just like you take your money and put it in the bank. The money doesn't belong to the bank. The money belongs to you. So you see, it is God's words he has put in the mouth of the man. So he said, he touched his mouth. Why? The mouth is what he needed to do what God has called him to do. In your case, it's your hand. In your case, it's your legs. In your case, it's your brain. And whatever the tool or the instrument is that God uses in your life as a savior, may the hand of God touch it right now. In the name of Jesus, may God touch it. And he touched my mouth. And the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put my words in your mouth. I have put my words in your mouth. <laughs> you didn't study my words. Now yesterday I talked to you about the benefit of study. So don't get me wrong. But I can tell you the work of a prophet is only about 20% study. About 80% of it, he puts it in. No, no, no. Many times you don't even know what you're going to say next. Hmm. Whenever I stand in front of people to minister, it's as if there's a tape. And I've told you that again and again. It's like there's a tape in my stomach. And the tape will play and play and play and play until cut. said I have put my words in your mouth so they are not Jeremiah's words they are the words of God and God put them in Jeremiah's mouth it's just like you take your money and put it in the bank the money doesn't belong to the bank the money belongs to you so you see it is God's words he has put in the mouth of the man of God mouth of the man of God so when you are the words you are attacking God because it is God that put the words in his mouth you know these things sometimes can be very contentious and they can even provoke people why, why are they saying they are speaking the word of God and God put the words in their mouth it is God it is God where do you think they learn those things from and you are quick to say oh these things are tricks they are just lying to the people. How can somebody lie for 20 years? 30 years. I started Fountain Gate Chapel, Desert Passes, 87. So I've lied to the people from 87 up till today. And they didn't know I'm lying to them. 87 till now. How many years is that? 35 years. So 35 years of lying. And the people are so dumb. They didn't realize you were lying. But by the time baby. It is 35 years. It means that you that are not believing. You are dumb. You are deaf. You can't hear. The people sitting in the church. They are not dumb. No they are not. You just look at them. Oh, they are dumb. They are, they, are, they are deaf. They can't hear. These people know. They are down there. The, the men of God are deceiving them. Oh, but you are not deceived. You are not deceived. You can hear. You can see. You are the kind. Even if fire is falling on your house, you will not know that fire is falling on your house. And the people that have humbled themselves and they hear the word of God and they go to church and they receive the word of God and they are born again they are following the work of the, the word of God they've cleansed their lives they are living in the spirit they've changed the way they do their things you look at them you say they are dumb and you know the kind of insults they can use on the church people why don't you hear but I came to tell you your choices are correct your decisions are correct you are on course 
you are on course to save your soul and save the soul of your family if you can clap your hands the power of God is upon you in the name of Jesus I have put my words in your mouth so you see God can put his words in the mouth of a human being and for a fetish priest to bury you it will be one of us one of us will come and say one of us will come and put you in the grave and because of the nice people that we are we will not, we will not pay you back in your own coin we will say a few nice things about you we know you are very bad you are very dangerous but on that day we will say you are a good man 